Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see the constructions of 3 and 4 in exercise 13.1. So third problem, construct an equilateral triangle given its side of length 4.5 cm and justify the construction. So here they are asking to construct an equilateral triangle. So first write the given information. So given side is equals to 4.5 centimeters. So you know already equilateral triangle means the three sides are equal. So just to draw the rough diagram A, B, C. So here three sides are equal in length 4.5 centimeters, 4.5 centimeters. Now we have to construct the triangle. So take the scale. First of all we have to draw a side AB of 4.5 centimeters. So put a point at 0 and another point at 4.5. 4.5 means between 4 and 5 fifth line. Okay. Now join these two points. So this is A, B. It's 4.5 centimeters. Now, with the compass, take the radius of 4.5 centimeters. Okay. A, C, 4.5 now. So, by taking A as center, draw an arc. Similarly, from B also, draw another arc. So, these two arcs intersect at one point. Na? So, that is the third vertex C. So, join BC and AC. So, this is the required equilateral triangle. Steps of construction. Draw a line segment AB is equal to 4.5 centimeters. So next with A and B as centers, draw two arcs with radius 4.5 centimeters intersecting. Okay, two arcs we drawn. So the intersecting point of these two arcs is the vertex C. So join AC and BC. So this is the required equilateral triangle. Okay, in the question they are asking justify the construction. So we have to justify it. So, see justification. So, in triangle ABC, we know the three sides are equal. So, AB is equals to AC is equals to BC. Right. So, first here I am taking AC is equals to BC. So, we know the angles opposite to equal sides are equal. Okay. So, that means in a triangle, if these two sides are equal, the angle opposite to these two sides are also equal. So, here it is A, B, C. A, C, what is the opposite angle of A, C? Angle B. And what is the opposite angle of B, C? Angle A. So, I wrote here. A, C is equals to B, C. So, angle B is equals to angle A. And now AB also is equals to AC. Okay. So what is the opposite side of AB? Angle C. And what is the opposite side of AC? Angle B. So angle C is equals to angle B. So from 1 and 2 we can write angle B is equals to angle C is equals to angle A. Okay. So finally we can say angle A is equals to angle B is equals to angle C. So these three angles are equal. So if these three angles are equal to X, then we know sum of three angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Okay. So X plus X plus X is equal to 180. 3X is equal to 180. If we transpose these three to RHS, it comes under division. So X value is 60 degrees. 
so the three angles equals to 60 degrees so in which type of triangle the three angles will be equal in equilateral triangle equals to 60 means so in this way we can construct and justify this problem now fourth problem so construct an isosceles triangle given its base and base angle and justify the construction so hint also they give you can take any measure of side and angle so here for constructing an isosceles triangle we can take the measurements which we like okay so here i am taking base and base angles are given now they give so let base ab is equals to 5 centimeters you can take any any measurement okay 4 centimeters 6 centimeters i am taking as 5 centimeters and base angles means angle a is equals to angle b is equals to 50 degrees same okay now rough diagram just a b c a b 5 centimeters so it is 50 angle a and angle b also 50 so this is the isosceles triangle rough sketch now we have to construct it so take the scale draw a line segment AB of 5 centimeters. So put one point at 0 and another point at 5. Now join these two points. So it's A, B, 5 centimeters. Now we have to draw angle A is equals to 50 degrees. So take the protractor. And the angle is right side now. So down scale we have to take here 50. Okay. So draw a ray. A x. Similarly by taking b as center. Now this side is there now scale. So above scale upper scale we have to take so here 50 so it's y b y let it be b y ray it's 50 degrees and 50 degrees so these two rays intersect at one point now so that is the third vertex c so this is the required isosceles triangle steps of construction so draw a line segment ab is equals to 5 centimeters that is the first step and draw two rays ax and by such that angle xab 50 and yba 50 degrees so now these ax and by intersect at c triangle abc is the required triangle and here they are asking again justify the construction so we have to justify it so justification so for justification first of all we have to draw a perpendicular from c to a b okay so like this So perpendicular means here 90 and this side also 90 degrees. Let it be M. Okay. So for justification, draw a perpendicular CM to AB from C. Now AMC is one triangle and BMC is another right angle triangle. Now I am comparing these two triangles. So angle AMC, AMC is equals to bmc both equals to 90 degrees and by construction angle a is equals to angle b 50 degrees 
and CM is common side in both the triangles. So by AS or ASA, these two triangles are congruent. So by CPCT, we can say AC is equals to BC. So when two sides are equal in a triangle, we can say that triangle is an isosceles triangle. So in this way, we can justify this construction. So students, these are the three and four problems in exercise 13.1. Okay. So please like this video and please share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.